seems that I forgot to properly introduce myself. Hello, everybody. My name is Verenia Glass. I am the curator of this gallery night. I also have works up here. And in case you guys haven't noticed, there's these three really weird looking sections over here. I wonder what they're for. Stand by the section, ask a question, and you'll find out. Ding, ding, ding. Portraits being drawn for Woo. prize. Woo. So, yes. <laughs> um, I'll tell you. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, yes, yes. Those are portraits. So at any point in time in the night, if you would like a uh, speed sketch drawn for a price, uh, let us know, and we'll get that done for you. Um, otherwise, uh, I could talk a little bit more about my work. Uh, so far for this gallery exhibit, I have a lot of uh, works based in illustrated realism. Uh, if you, in case you can't tell, a lot of the subject matter includes a lot of my personal and very close friends and people around me. These are my pieces right here, right under Fresh Faces, all the black and white uh, portraiture, as well as two pics of Aaliyah. Um, someone at the night market wanted Aaliyah, so I delivered it. I'll be waiting for her when she gets here. Um, but yes, I do realism. You know, I've been going to Mayad. I'm actually out of Mayad. I graduated two years ago. I have a BFA in animation and a minor in illustration. And I just like to make really nice things that mean good things. <laughs> So yes, we're going to have a couple more music pieces coming up. We're going to have more performances by Grand Award. Um, but for right now, we are going to have Kelly Pritchard come up and talk about her work. She does amazing acrylics and a lot of times on found objects. So we'll have you come up and explain that. <laughs> Hi hey all thanks for coming. Uh, my <laughs> paintings are on the, the very side next to that strip. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like she said, I do a lot of painting and uh, stuff on found objects because I'm broke and I know a lot of artists know what that's like so you gotta be resourceful and <laughs> use what you got but a lot of times that's where my inspiration comes from and a lot of stuff from nature everything like that um, I tend to use a lot of acrylics um, I also sew I uh, am learning taxidermy I uh, I <laughs> rearticulate skeletons. I, uh, <laughs> I make jewelry. I, <laughs> I, I do a lot of different things. So I, I feel like there's not a day that goes by where I'm not incorporating art into my life. And even when I just get time to sit down with my daughter Scout here, um, who is also a budding artist, <laughs> we can just sit around and draw and. You know, it's great. I love it. It's a great way to communicate with her. Um, most of my artwork is said to be on the darker side, um, probably because I'm like forcing out <laughs> middle-aged teenage angst <laughs> when I'm doing it. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I've always had issues with depression and stuff, so. Uh, for me, painting and being able, being able to create something that someone else thinks is beautiful um, or cool or worth something means a lot to me. Um, I was actually like thrilled to be even acknowledged to go up on a wall in a gallery. This is my first time, so Woo! thank you. Thank you. But yeah. Um, other than that, um, I will give the mic back to you. <laughs> well, that's place. Thanks for coming, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I found really interesting about your practice was that you do taxidermy. Yes. Yeah. You want to tell them a little bit about that? See this meek vile looking young woman is a killer. <laughs> <laughs> I have never killed for my art. <laughs> I promise. I might scrape it off the road. Squirrel. I did a squirrel on um, 
It took me like two months putting all the bones back together, um, but it was like a puzzle and I just loved doing it. And then, um, so I was thinking I should get into taxidermy and just recently uh, Joshua, wherever he is, brought me a bat um, that he thought bit his cat and gave it rabies. So I was like, we're gonna taxidermy this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just I self-taught everything. I mean, I I did go to school uh, for for art, but never quite um, paid it. I don't know, uh, paid attention enough to uh, follow through, and I, I dropped out of UWM and MATC. <laughs> so I like to learn myself. I feel like it's more gratifying that way. Um, but yeah, and oh, and I used to be a tattoo artist as well. Um, right. Fresh out of high school, I was doing that for a few years. Might actually get back into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, because I, um, and she has many stories to tell, and I just love her work and how she approaches her practice. So you'll hear more for her and see what your self talk has gotten you. Yeah. Here you are. <laughs> well, thank you guys. <laughs> Uh, now, before we continue with the Funky Fresh Beats and all of that jazz, I'm going to give a special shout out to two uh, special people. One, uh, Ruben Hopkins. Uh, he deals with the Wisconsin Black Chamber of Commerce. And in a couple of minutes, he'll come up and talk a little bit more about that. Uh, the other person, where is he? There's a lot of blue jean shirts here, so I can't. Richard? Richard? Richard Allen? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there he is. He's one of the master artists. Um, that resides here. He doesn't really reside here. I don't think you live upstairs, right? But you, know, you got your work. <laughs> he has his work here. A lot of the pieces from scenic Milwaukee that you see on the wall are because of Richard Allen. So we will also have him come up and talk about his experience as an artist. But first, Ruben. <laughs> No applause, please. <laughs> okay, so this was not even planned, so hopefully I'll say something that at least half of you will. Um, you know, supporting um, um, you know the growth and development of artists is one of those things that it's almost how can you go wrong, right? Because there's so many different options when it comes to art. And so, uh, for the chamber to be able to support uh, this business, and, and you know, one of the promotions that we have uh, right now that we're doing is Black Milwaukee, where to go and what to do. So when people come to town, they're able to be drawn into the you know the Black business community, especially those here in the uh, Grand Avenue Mall. So um, when uh, when I heard about Gallery Night, I was like, one way or another. Uh, I was going to come and support it. I'm actually not here until tomorrow, so you don't really see me tonight. <laughs> so my plan was to be here tomorrow. But uh, congratulations to the artists. Um, I see, I do see chicken, so you know I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, that's Bree Janae over there. Way Bree Janae. Right. Bree Janae is my uh, girl Friday. For those that don't understand what that means, what's, the, what's that movie? Uh. What's the movie? Back. Anyway, just Google it. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, and she, today is Friday. So thank you uh, for, for uh, being here. Thank you for the hospitality. And uh, we appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to give the mic okay. to whoever comes up and gets. Right. Okay, well, uh, Verenia has given a little <laughs> to Richard. But as her show is called, um, Fresh faces, and um, Verinia wanted to show how the master artists influenced the younger artists, and the younger artists influenced the more mature artists. And Richard has been an integral part of this gallery for many years, and he recently, the past year, has established his own studio practice. But, and I will say he is a photographer to watch, and if you can just look at his work, you can see how. Um, <laughs> how great it is. So I'll let Verinia bring him up now. <laughs> Alright, should I do a WWE style? Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's see, which one? Like when he got hit by the table, by the chair, or <laughs> when he did the swan time bomb? <laughs> which one? Okay, alright, well coming, coming to the front. 
is a very experienced photographer. He's been with Asia's Fine and Arts for, and painter. <laughs> He's been here for a while and has done nothing but bring happiness and joy to our lives with his photo, photography. Photography. <laughs> here you go, Richard. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. You know, I've been building me up so much, and I'm like, uh, okay, okay. You know, actually, what happened is, is that uh, I met Cynthia, uh, I'd say three or four years ago, when I started working down here. I uh, started showing some of my influences and putting some of my work on the walls and that, and so it's been like a home to me. And up until this gallery night, I actually have been working. I have my own studio now, so I thought I was just going to come down and be a guest. <laughs> Not talk. But anyway, I appreciate you. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I appreciate um, what you said, seasoned professional or what have you. Yeah. I've worked at uh, advertising agencies in the past. I uh, have some of my stuff in uh, museums, a few museums, a few uh, universities have some of my work, that type of thing. And well, like she said, uh, I started my, my pet project over here was the senior Milwaukee pictures. And uh, we did that, and they're still up. Um, you know, it's like a, a postcard series. And it evolved into the larger scale pictures. I'm kind of continuing that series of work. But since I've left here, I'll be back in January, I've been kind of putting my studio together and uh, been working on my own projects now. It's kind of like. I kind of like um, getting withdrawal from here and coming into my own again. Um, I had planned on having some stuff here today, but I said, well, maybe next gallery, uh, gallery night. So I do have a nice studio where I'm doing some paintings, and especially about the walking again. But like she was saying, emerging artists, that's why I came down, because I wanted to see what the fresh artists of today was doing. You know, I'm, and I'm very impressed. You know, I, I, the young guy over here, his work reminds me of an artist that uh, that I do in South Bend, Indiana. He was sculpture, and uh, he did the three-dimensional work, but he interpreted his work from the three-dimensional form into two-dimensional, and it's very similar to what he's doing there. And I was hoping the young artist was here that I could talk to him and just ask him does he have some three-dimensional influences because. You know, I, a lot of people don't get his work, and I'm like, well, when you look at it in a three-dimensional form, you see these ebbs and flows and stuff or things, it starts really coming together and making sense. So I wanted to talk to him about that. Um, all the rest of the artists, the young lady that just came up here with the taxidermy, I had, uh, we had an artist here last year, I believe it was last year, uh, Carol Archer, and she did some, uh, she's a self-talk artist also, and she did portrait work. And but what she did, she took her natural hair on some of her pieces and made like three-dimensional, uh, well, I'm not saying three-dimensional, but she released out of her natural hair, hair and combined uh, with the paintings and that uh, some natural stuff. And when she said that she uh, picks up roadkill and stuff like that, I said, well, maybe that would be interesting uh, to follow with the um, innate uh, uh, framing that she did on that one of the skeleton. What if she had a that beat coming off the off the page or something like that? I thought, you know, it'd be something that I could see her doing in the future. So it's kind of like uh, got, I get inspired. I used to do a lot of uh, pencil work, and I see the artist over here doing pencil work, and I thought, yeah, I may be doing some of that stuff too. So it's like coming here is giving me inspired me, and for what I do. And for what they do, I said, hey, it's kind of like it's passing on, it's kind of regenerating you. So anyway, um, I'm glad to be here and all of that there, and I hope you might grab this mic for me. <laughs> uh, that's your, those are your pictures, correct? Yeah. Uh, that, that church right there, those three are the same church. Does that mean something to you? or? Uh, no, well, not, not really. I mean... It's kind of like a lot of times for, for me when I got into art, uh, my father, you know, I should actually really excel at math a long time ago. My father, you know, and I was doing artwork here in Milwaukee, and, and you know, as a high school student, and I uh, went to uh, Milwaukee Tech here, which was boys' tech when I was only boy, and I got into the art thing. 
And he says, well, you know, yeah, you can draw and all that kind of stuff, but why don't you go into architecture? And why don't you do this here? And I'm like, ah, but I want to do art. And the main reason why it was is I found out, for me, that drawing within the lines was confining. If I, you know, draw out the lines or whatever, I can make it visually look good. And so a lot of times my art start off in one direction, and then it winds up into another. And I said, it carries over to my photography. They're called, um, the, the scene of Milwaukee uh, was just a postcard series where we were doing running around. I walked around the city and, and we're taking pictures uh, of Milwaukee. And then when the gallery suggested possibly we could do a uh, postcard series, oh, I got all these pictures of Milwaukee. Let's try it out. And it kind of started having a theme to it. And so when I walked down, I said, well, I got some of the city to fall different people. When you go on the south side, it takes pictures there. And when I got to that church, I took some pictures, and I, I took one picture and started getting darker and softer lighting and stuff like that. And it kind of came into a theme that I said, okay, then. I didn't think about it at the time, but I said, yeah, let me do this, you know, this, this, this composition of photography at this time today. And a lot of times, uh, whether you can tell it or not, certain one of these pictures that I've done, uh, I've done all on the same day, and they have a, a feel to them with the light as opposed to the other one. And um, if you can pick them out, you can tell the difference. So it's kind of like that there. You run around, you do stuff, you start off with one intention, and then it develops into what it is. All right. Thank you. Um, now, we are going to have a couple more audit, uh, artist talks, <laughs> but first, let's take the time, and I'm pretty sure this is going to happen again sometime tonight, but let's all take the time to turn our eyes to Cynthia, <laughs> take a deep breath, and give her the biggest thank you to her and Greg Stanford for providing us with the We're going to start with how I picture her name all the time, but I think there's somebody special to see Verenia. So if we could, real quick, have Mr. Dennis come up.